response specifications of a system and how we can calculate the output response of the system through it okay so let's take a problem So our problem is that for a negative feedback control system, uh, which is having forward path transfer function as GS equals to K upon S, S plus six, and because it is a negative feedback control system and given to us that the feedback loop is having the transfer function as one. So it is basically a unity feedback system. Now we have to determine the value of the gain K. Transfer function is what? K upon S, S plus 6. So we have to find out the value of this gain K for the system to have the damping ratio of 0 0.832. And in the second part, for this value of the gain K, we have to determine the complete time response of an input. And input is what? 2 UT. UT is the unit step function so first we have to calculate the value of the gain k and second we have to calculate the complete time response of the system so let's solve this problem now this it is given to us that the system is having a damping ratio of 0 0.832 that is del is equals to 0 0.832 and the forward path transfer function is given to us gs equals to k upon s s plus 6 and hs is given to us as 1. So let us first determine the characteristic equation of this system. So characteristic equation is 1 plus gs hs equals to 0. Okay. 1 plus gs is what? K upon S, S plus 6 and HS is 1. So solve this, it will be S squared plus 6S plus K equals to 0. So this is the characteristic equation of the system. Now compare this characteristic equation with the generalized or the standard form of the characteristic equation of a second order control system. It is S squared plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n squared equals to 0. This is our generalized or the standard characteristic equation of the second order system. Compare the coefficients. Coefficient of s is 2 del omega n and it is equals to 6 and omega n square it is equals to k. So omega n will be root k. Okay, this is the value of the omega n that is the natural frequency. Now putting the value of omega n here and del is also given to us in the question as 0 0.832. So putting the value of del also. Okay. 
calculate the value of root k. It will be 6 upon 2 into 0 0.832. So k will be 13. Square both sides and then solve it. You will get the value of k as 13. Putting the value of k 13 in this equation, then you will get the natural frequency as 3.61 radians per second. So this is natural frequency and it is the value of the gain and the damping factor. It is also uh, given to us in the question. So we have solved our first part. We have determined the value of the gain K for the damping factor 0 0.832. Now second part is we have to determine the complete time response of the system. So second part we have the time response represented as the CT. CT is the output. And the equation for this is for a second order control system, the time response is given by 1 minus e raised to the power This is the formula for the time response of a second order control system. Now here we have omega n, we have already calculated del we know, but omega d, that is the damping frequency. Damping frequency, it is given by omega n under root of 1 minus del square. And phi is also here. Phi, it is given by tan inverse of under root of 1 minus del square by del. So just substitute its value here, we will get ct equals to 1 minus e raised to the power minus del is 0 0.832 omega n is 3.61 t upon under root of 1 minus del square del is what 0 0.832 whole square sine Omega d substitute its value omega n under root of 1 minus del square. Omega n is what? 3.61 under root of 1 minus 0 0.832 del square. Okay. And then we have omega d t plus phi that is tan inverse of under root of 1 minus del square that is 0 0.832 whole square upon del that is 0 0.832. So we have substituted the values of all the variables. Now let's solve it. We have ct equals to 1 minus e raised to the power minus. When we multiply this we will get 3 approximately 3 and when we solve this under root it is 0.5548 then sine we have 3.61, then this under root is again 0.5548t plus tan inverse of when this under root and denominator division it is solved, it is 0 0.6668. So this is the response. Now let's further solve it. We have ct equals to 1 minus we have e raised to the power minus 3t upon 0 0.5548 so when we solve this we will get 80253 e raised to the power minus 3t sine 2.002t plus This is tan inverse of 0 0.6668. It comes out to be 33.695 degrees. Okay. So since we are given that. So solve it further. We are given that the input is 2UT. 
and duty is a unit step function now the response which we have taken here we have calculated here it is for unit step function that is when we apply unit step function then this will be the output unit step function means ut now here we are giving the input to the system as 2 ut so we will multiply this 2 with this output response so it will become the output response for the function for the input 2 ut just multiply this 2 with this output response you will get the respective output that is ct equals to 2 multiplied with 1 minus multiply it inside we will get 2 minus 3.2 multiplied with this so we will get 3.60506 e raised minus 3t sine so this is the output response of the system when the input is 2 ut that is a linear input and 2 into ut, ut is a unit step function. So in this problem we have calculated the gain when we are given the damping factor in the question we are given and then we have calculated the gain k and in the second part we have calculated the time response of the system when the input is a unit step function that is 2 ut. Okay. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.